which scene in a film disturbed you the most? The scene in the original Pet Cemetery where the old guy gets his Achilles tendon cut from the little kid under the bed I always checked under the bed after that. Edit, these comments are a treat. Still pretty new to Reddit, only recently been active. I absolutely love all the shared trauma we had with this one scene. Made me smile all day, seeing all the comments and upvotes. Thanks for making my day in spite of the Rona lockdown and the smoky air making us have to stay indoors for the past few days. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, stay safe and always check under the bed. Yes. 12-year-old me saw that movie and that scene was just too much. 19-year-old me saw that and it was too much. That and Zelda. And the guy in the emergency room with his head split open. There's a scene from the movie The Road where the father and his son discover a room full of chained, naked people waiting to be eaten by the cannibals living in the house and then they run away and they get chased by the cannibals. That scene really traumatized me when I was young. I remember crying so hard when I watched that movie. Edit, I swear my parents are not bad people lol. I don't remember exactly since it's been like 10 years but I'm sure if they knew how intense that movie was, they would not have let me watch it also I was like 13 to 14, not 8, or something haha. That was terrifying in the book, I don't think I want to see the film. If they had at least killed the victims before they ate them, instead of chopping off a limb at a time and keeping them alive so the meat would last longer, sad face. In 7, the guy in the sex club recounting what the murderer made him do with a strap on saw blade. His screaming about what he made him do. So funny story, that was the first movie that made me lose sleep. I was only about 10 when that movie came out and we rented it. My family. For movie night. This before internet trailers and none of us knew what it was about. I remember it being like 3 a.m. and I was just laying in my bed. I get up to get a drink of water and my dad is sitting in the living room. Not sleeping or watching TV, just sitting in the dark. He looks at me can't sleep. Me, nope. Dad, fucked up. Me, fucked up. The first time I ever swore in front of my dad was the F-bomb and neither one of us cared. There's an 80s slash 90s horror movie called, When a Stranger Calls Back. All the spoliers. In the movie, the killer is a ventriloquist who can throw his voice. In the end scene, the protagonist is in a room with the killer, and can hear him but she can't see him. He has painted himself to look like the wall. This scene impacted me for many years. As a single woman living alone, I would walk around my house, trailing my hand along the wall to make sure no one had painted themselves to match my wall. Then don't watch the new Invisible Man I couldn't shower without throwing a shampoo bottle at the wall for a month. Hey since, edit. 1000 plus of you have seen this now's a great time to challenge all of you go find a donation website for Oxfam, Save the Children, the Red Cross or UNICEF and pitch in a dollar towards the famine crisis in Yemen. For those who can't do quick maths if every one of you does it that's, edit, whoa over $1000 going towards humanitarian efforts there. This was so horrifying to me at the time because I was so young when I watched it but the last scene in Cannibal Holocaust where the cannibals assaulted and attacked one of the film crew has just stayed with me since. Wasn't there some sort of investigation because the movie asterisk seemed too realistic? Yes, and the director had to bring in the actors to prove they weren't murdered, which include a demonstration of how they recreate the impaled woman scene. It was as I recall having excellent breathing control while sitting on a bike seat. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that the director made the actors sign agreements that they would basically go into hiding for a year after the movie was released. That way their deaths in the movie would seem more real because no one would be able to find them. I believe it was Human Centipede 2. Pregnant woman pretends to be dead, is discarded to the side of the room, waiting for her chance to escape. Goes into labor, obviously can't continue playing dead, screams and runs, is discovered by centipede dude. Manages to get herself into a car as baby pops out, lady smashes baby's head under the pedal as she slams the gas pedal down attempting to escape. I don't watch horror movies anymore. 
holy fuck that description is gruesome. If I'm remembering it correctly the scene is 100% graphic too, there's no cut away from the gas pedal before she puts her foot down, it shows everything. It's been several years since I watched that movie but I remember it randomly every now and again, it's honestly one of those scenes I wish I could just forget seeing. That scene in Pinocchio where the boy turns into a donkey. Right? And that's never addressed. The country's entire population of young boys is being kidnapped, experiencing ultimate body horror, and then being sold into slavery. And at the end of the movie all of that is still happening? Nobody is rescuing those kids. Geppetto doesn't give a crap, because he's got his real boy. Why isn't Jiminy Cricket screaming in Pinocchio's ear about the donkey holocaust? Is that what happens? I didn't watch the movie, just that scene and always assumed that Pinocchio would save the day or something. Nope. The movie's explicit message is, little boys who misbehave are jackasses and deserve whatever bad things happen to them.